Hello students, Michael Sanchez here. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to talk to you guys about bows today. So I actually have set out here some fiberglass slash plastic bows and then also some Pernambuco bows. And I'm actually referring to the quality of the material that the bow is made out of. The hair actually has nothing to do with the value of the bow. So a lot of times these fiberglass bows are going to come in your standard rental outfits. Or if you like, for example, if you buy a violin online for say like $100, a lot of times it's going to include one of these bows in it. They're very stiff, they're very hard to play, um, so like when you're crossing strings, you're going to get a lot of that kind of crunchy, unpleasant sound, squeaky sound. So I'm going to uh, do some bouncing with this bow. You're going to be able to see how it's not really precise, it's hard to really be accurate with it. All right, I'm going to compare that to a Pernambuco bow. So it's much more accurate, much more easy to play. It's a lot lighter, it's just a lot easier to feel the strings and exactly how much pressure you need to put down. So if you guys have watched some of my videos, I talk a lot about the bow grip. And a lot of times it's just hard to get a good sound when your bow is so stiff. So that's definitely a characteristic of these bows. So now I'm gonna play something else so just you can hear the, the difference in sound because another quality that a Pernambuco bow brings out in the violin is the richness of the tone. So notice how it really brings it out with the Pernambuco compared to the fiberglass. Alright, and now the Pernambuco. So you can probably tell that the violin was ringing more compared to this. It's just a lot deader, like stiffer sound with these particular bows. So definitely the Pernambucos are just much better quality. And these are actually handcrafted, so they're not actually like manufactured that you're gonna find with these. There's, these are a lot easier to make than these. Um, you know, a natural maker will craft the bow just particularly to be perfect as far as the balance. 